Does your train room look like a pigsty? Well, today I'm going to suggest seven ways to clean it up. Coming up right now. Hi, I'm Roy Smith. The term pigsty refers to an extremely messy or dirty place. I don't know about you, but I don't even like to go into my train room when it looks like a pigsty, dirty and full of clutter. And it's especially embarrassing if friends stop by to see my trains. Today, I'm going to offer you seven secrets for a clean layout and train room. Now, these are just suggestions. And of course, a suggestion is just an idea for your consideration. Any or all of these suggestions may or may not even apply to you. You be the judge of that. And before this video is over, I'm going to tell you what is the single biggest threat that I face to a clean train room. A few days ago, I got an email from John E. And in his email, John wrote, Hello, Roy, how do you deal with dust? Well, John's email got me thinking about this topic of a clean layout and, and clean train room. His question made me realize that I don't have a systematic approach to cleaning. I just do a little spot cleaning here and there as needed when I think of it and when it gets so bad that I can't stand it anymore. And let's face it, that's no way to run a railroad. Now I know that cleaning up a layout room is no fun. I know that because I don't like to do it myself. But I do believe it's important to do it because if you're like me, it's difficult to get anything done in a messy train room. Besides, it can affect the way your locomotives run. It can even damage them. And it's amazing how much better I feel running my trains in a train room that is clean and clutter-free. Now, track cleaning and locomotive wheel cleaning are always the first things we think about when we talk about a clean layout. Yes, these two tasks are important, extremely important, in fact. But we have talked about them before, so we're not going to talk about track cleaning and locomotive wheel cleaning today. Instead, we're going to talk about the overall cleanliness of the train room and the layout itself. So here then, are the seven suggestions or secrets that I would like to share with you today. Let's start with dust. Dust is a leading offender. Besides, it's what John specifically mentioned in his email. Face it, layouts collect a lot of dust. Here in Panama, we don't have furnaces that throw out dust out of the ducts all over the house. Nope. No furnaces here, not in this tropical climate where it never gets cold. But I do have a split air conditioner here in my train room. In fact, I have six of them like this in my house because central air conditioning is non-existent here in Panama. Like all air conditioners, this unit has a filter in it. That filter takes a lot of dust out of the air in my train room. But these units and the filters in them have to be cleaned periodically. So about every four months, I have a technician come by to clean it and the other units in my house. So suggestion number one is keep your air conditioning filters clean. Another big cause of dust in my train room can be that ceiling fan up there. Dust collects on it easily and throws that dust all over the layout when I turn it on. So periodically, I have to bring my step ladder up to the train room to clean it. So suggestion number two is, if you have a ceiling fan in your train room, try to keep it clean. 
By the way, I have also ordered one of these air purifiers and it should arrive soon. I hope it will keep the air in my train room clean and smelling fresh. Now, dust also likes to collect on the layout itself as if by magic. You especially can see it on structures and on locomotives and other rolling stock. It's just plain unsightly, either to visitors or in my videos. So suggestion number three is clean that dust off your structures, locomotives, and other rolling stock. Many people like to use soft makeup brushes like these to do it. That's what I use, gently of course. But if possible, try to use some kind of vacuum cleaner as you do this. Otherwise, you just brush the dust off of one thing and onto something else. Of course, you have to be careful about vehicles and other objects that aren't glued down when using a vacuum cleaner on your layout. By the way, I said I'm not talking about track cleaning today, but I do like to run the vacuum hose along the track like this to clean up any loose debris on or along the track so that it doesn't get into the gears and motors of my locomotives. Maybe someday I will buy one of these track cleaning cars with a built-in vacuum if I can get one with a DC decoder already installed in it because installing a decoder in one of these isn't an easy drop-in. I've been using a soft sponge brush and cosmetic brushes to clean the dust off water features such as Echo Creek on my layout, but I've also ordered one of these dust dabbers. Okay, let's talk about cobwebs. Have you ever noticed how they just appear as if by magic in the corners and along the ceiling of your train room? Well, maybe not in your train room, but certainly in mine. And worse yet, they appear in helices, in staging, and in other semi-accessible places on the layout. They are so unsightly, especially when I see them clinging to the fronts of my locomotives after the locomotives run through one of those semi-accessible places. And sometimes you can see those cobwebs on the fronts of my locomotives in my videos. How embarrassing. Well, here's suggestion number four. Clean those cobwebs on the walls with a clean broom and on your layout, clean them with a vacuum cleaner. Of course, I guess it goes without saying, you have to be careful of those trains that may be sitting on your layout where you want to, to, to clean with a vacuum cleaner. It's probably best just to move the trains out of the way. And here's a related suggestion. When planning your layout, try to avoid creating inaccessible places on your layout. That's where train derailments are most likely to occur. And it's also where those cobwebs are most likely to form. Now, nothing makes a, a layout room look more cluttered than all those unused materials that you have laying around, whether on the floor or on the layout itself. Well, okay, if you're like me, you don't know what to do with all of that stuff. Besides, you think you may need it someday. Well, sometimes I put unused pieces of plywood and styrofoam into the storage room down by my garage. But anything that goes in there never comes back out again. As for layout tools, extra track and scenery materials, I store a lot of that in boxes under the beds in the guest room. So if you come to visit me, who knows what's under the bed you're sleeping in. So here's suggestion number five. And it has to do with storage. Start by throwing out all of those scrap materials. Don't let yourself get hooked into the idea that you might need them someday. Second, 
get yourself a storage cabinet. I like this one, which is especially good for storing scenery materials. And third, get a bunch of those plastic storage containers like these that you can put under your layout. Definitely don't use the top of your layout for storage, storing stuff. In fact, I don't even like to store stuff under my layout. I'm not going to put any of that skirting material along the fascia under my layout uh, behind which to store stuff like so many others do. One more thing, store your unused locomotives on locomotive shelves rather than leaving them sitting around on the layout. As they say, have a place for everything and keep everything in its place. And speaking of those construction materials, such as lumber, here's suggestion number six. Consider building your bench work outside. Otherwise, you will get sawdust and bits and pieces of lumber all over the train room. I built my bench work in sections in the garage and then carried the sections up to the train room. I just don't like heavy construction in my train room. But if you, you do have to do any construction in, in the train room, I clean up the mess as soon as you can afterward. That's what I do. And here's a related suggestion. If you use white styrofoam for a scenery base on your layout like I do, it's best to cut and carve it outside. Otherwise, you will end up with those beads of white styrofoam all over your layout and train room. And here's my last suggestion, suggestion number seven. Don't bring anything into the train room that doesn't belong there. I'm thinking of food and beverages that are bound to get spilled on the layout and floor. Another thing that doesn't belong in the train room are cats. I love cats. I think they're adorable, but I don't think they belong in the train room because they like to jump up on the layout and knock over the trains and other things. And their fur gets all over the layout and that can mess up your locomotives. Okay, those are my suggestions for a neater layout and cleaner train room. But at the beginning of this episode, I promise to tell you what is the greatest threat to the, a clean train room that I face. Well, here it is. Termites. That's right, termites. Termites thrive here in the tropical climate where I live, and I'm fighting a never-ending battle with them to save my bench work. They especially like plywood. They are literally threatening to turn my bench work that looks like this into a little pile of dust that looks like this. So whenever I spot termite dust under my layout, I have to apply this horrible smelling product called pentadrine to those areas of my bench work where I think termites are living. Lately, my gardener has been adding diesel fuel to the pentadrine because he says the diesel fuel helps the pentadrine penetrate the wood better. Here I am now, under the layout, spraying it on my benchwork. When I apply this stuff, I have to open the windows in my train room as wide as I can and run both the ceiling and floor fan for ventilation. But as I said, I feel like I'm waging a losing battle with the termites because they come out of hiding to resume their campaign of destruction within a few days after I apply the pentadrine. Someday I may have to rebuild my layout and use different materials for the bench work. But goodness, I, I dread the thought of that and so I continue to spray the bench work as needed, like it or not. Well, there you have it my model railroad friends, those are my thoughts and suggestions about cleanliness of the layout and train room. I've offered you seven suggestions, which may or may not be helpful. 
In any case, I'd like to know if you have any problems with maintaining a clean layout and train room, and if so, what do you do about it? Let me know. In fact, let us all know in the comments section down below. I do want you to know that I always read your comments, even if I'm not always able to respond to all of them the way I would like to. So thank you for joining me today. Remember, I upload a weekly variety show for model railroaders called Dispatch on Tuesday nights and layout updates on Saturday mornings. I hope you will subscribe to this channel and join me for each of these two weekly episodes. And be sure to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of them. Until next time then, happy railroading. I'm Roy Smith, and I will see you again very soon.